interesting to you? The mega sandal. It's a sandal that's mega. It's a mega sandal. And some parts to the mega sandal, uh, it will fit all your feet. It will make your, will make your feet look good. Carson, I don't want to do mega sandal anymore. I don't either. What, what should we do this instead of mega boring. sandal? I, I, I think mega sandal, it's boring. You know, I think I have an idea. It's wormholes! Oh, no, he's always been wormholes! Alright, it's not actually wormholes. No, it's not. It's but it's, it's close. It's real close. So I don't know why the Doctor Who theme isn't playing right now. But, but it's, it's supposed to play. It's supposed to play. Alright. So what we're actually selling you is not just wormholes. <laughs> Listen to me. It's not just the wormholes. So what we're selling you today is a device that will smooth out all the physical laws and restrictions in order to create a wormhole. Uh, here you can see our current prototype. It's got a nice throwback feel to it. Very retro. Exactly, yes. exactly. It will help you uh, create your own wormhole. And listen, people. First of all, let me explain what a wormhole is. It's a folding of space-time. Uh, think a portal that will let you be here jump through it, and end up on the other side of the world. Maybe even the moon, maybe the other end of the universe. The, practica the practical applications are endless, people. Now, we've been working very hard on this. We have a crack team of scientists, you know, seen right here. Yes. And at the forefront is Carson, our head scientist, and he is about to tell you the breakdown of what we had to work around with this device. So please, Carson, if you will. All right, hello, I am science. Uh, today, uh, we're gonna talk about like what wormholes are and then how well, our device gets over the problems other scientists have with wormholes. Now, I'm gonna talk about a man, it's, he was a theoretical physicist in the early 1900s, I'm not sure if you've heard of him, Albert Einstein, anybody? Oh, I've heard of that Oh, you guy. have, right? Okay, Albert Einstein created this. This is basically, putting all the 10 equations that make the general theory of relativity into one equation. And it's like the most complicated equation on the planet, and I don't have enough time to talk about it. But what you need to know about it is that this, uh, it talks about gravity, and more importantly, it, pr it theorizes that space-time is one thing, and it's at one plane, but big masses such as planets, or black holes, or wormholes, uh, they bend, their gravity bends the space-time. So rather, say you have this is space-time, rather than having this being space-time, a planet's in the middle, space-time is now like this. Fold it over, just like that. So, incredible. This also leads to predict exactly uh, solvable black holes and wormholes. Now, the issue other scientists had with wormholes is um, how unstable they would be. To have a wormhole uh, become stable, you would need a lot of uh, negative mass. Now, this is not antimatter, and yes, negative mass is a thing, and it can be created. Now, I hear you science buffs saying, but Carson, but science, it clearly states that you cannot create mass or energy. It can only be uh, changed and uh, reproduced from something else. And that is where we get into quantum mechanics, because uh, in quantum mechanics, not only do we break classical physics as we know it, but it's required to. Quantum mechanics is the study of the smartest, smallest particle in the universe at the smallest time. Uh, and in quantum mechanics, we see that the law of the conservation of uh, mass is violated all the time. Uh, put it simply, what negative mass is, say uh, the universe is made of 30 stuffs. The entire universe is 30 stuffs. Um, that's the bank, the balance of the universe, 30 stuffs. Just suddenly, one negative mass appears. Just one negative mass making the universe <laughs> the nine stuffs. The universe can't have that. So, to compensate for that, it creates a positive mass, anything, to make it equal 30 stuffs. And that's where we come in. Our device uh, sustains the negative mass and sustains the positive mass that was created uh, to balance out the negative mass. That's one of the applications. Another problem people have had is you're condensing space-time. Going back to this, this is the universe, space-time, this is a wormhole. This is space-time. So you can jump over to the just, other end. Yeah. And you're telling me that our device will do all the mumbo-jumbo that you just said? Yes. You know, maybe that big? In 
incredible. It's in fascinating. And so um, one of the problems that I have is you're condensing space time into like this amount, into Planck levels. Planck being one times uh, three, five to the next 35th power, something around that. Incredibly small. You're condensing to that much. So the amount of radiation and heat gets off is astronomical. So our device uh, limits the radiation coming off to a negligible amount and has a cooling uh, apparatus to where uh, you won't get burned by the edges of your wormhole. Mm. Wow, so listen, that was very complicated. There was a lot of big <laughs> concepts that I don't quite understand. And listen, it's okay that you don't understand them. As I said, this device will help you understand them and help you leap over them. Now people, if you haven't imagined the sheer practicality of wormholes, you need to start. Imagine this, you need to take a trip across Kansas. You need to take a trip you know, to the Rocky Mountains. You can simply walk out that door into your own personal wormhole and end up there. It's like magic, people, it's like magic. Now let's talk business. These devices, as you can imagine, are a touch expensive to create. One of these devices will take $2 million to create. Now, we have 10 currently in existence. And if we sold each of these for an exorbitant amount of money, like $3 million, we would be making a million dollar profit, but that would not sustain our company. We would not be able to create these devices forever. And make science happen. And make, precisely Carson, and make <laughs> science happen. So what we're asking from you, it may seem like a large investment at first, but when you consider that wormholes will usher in a new era of human development, it'll seem like chump change. We're asking for $50 million to not only uh, create more of these devices, but also to create a facility that will streamline the creation. Uh, so in conclusion, the wormholes are the future. Uh, we're basically taking a black hole and just wiping out a singularity point. That's incredible. We're basically taking a cosmic rolling pan and just... Yeah, it's amazing. It's so, incredible. we have developed ways to minimize the heat and radiation that comes off wormholes. We've developed a way to isolate and sustain the negative mass in order to keep wormholes stable. And, because of those two things, uh, the exotic matter found inside wormholes is also uh, guarded from. Precisely. People, this is the future. Thank you so much.